Hello my respected subscribers and viewers. My name is Raza Imam and I welcome you to my humble YouTube channel, the English Learning Channel. Today I am here to present to you my poem, Martyrs of Karbala. It is an elegy on the glorious martyrdom of the great and chosen 72 who sacrificed their lives in the Battle of Karbala on the 10th of October in the year 680. This date co coincided with the 10th of the month of Muharram in the year 61 Al-Hijri of the Islamic calendar. This battle was fought between the army of the second Umayyad Caliph Yazid I and a small army led by Hussein ibn Ali, peace be upon him, the grandson of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, at Karbala in Iraq. I was inspired and guided by my inner soul to write in the glory of the martyr, martyrs of Karbala. I looked to the pen and under the guidance of the holy martyrs, I was able to write this elegy, which I named Martyrs of Karbala. I wrote this elegy in 24 lines in the form of 12 couplets. In this elegiac poem, I have tried to describe the plight of the martyrs and the outcome of the battle. It highlights the outcome of the battle between the right and the wrong, between the moral and the immoral, between truth and falsehood, between virtue and vice, between good and evil, between light and darkness. This is the only battle in which the victims became the victors, as they succeeded in accomplishing their mission. The mission of Imam Hussain peace be upon him, was to defend the message of God as spread by the Islamic prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Whereas the mission of Yazid was to corrupt the teachings of Islam and to get his vicious, sinful, un-Islamic ways endorsed by Imam Hussain, peace be upon him. He wanted his allegiance at any cost. For this, he did the most brutal acts, but they all ended in smoke, as Imam Hussain, peace be upon him, and his men, peace be upon him, defended Islam by making unimaginable sacrifices. The supreme patience of Imam Hussain, peace be upon him, defeated the evil purpose of Yazid, and hence put an everlasting smile on the face of Islam. And now I am going to recite this elegiac poem with the hope that Alibeth, peace be upon him, will accept my this humble tribute. So there you are and please listen to my recitation. The title of the poem is Martyrs of Karbala. So I start the poem now. In the name of God do I now start tearful homage from the core of heart. God the people, divine was their goal, hush they were from their inner soul, hush to do what was just and right, to do away with dark and spread the light. Their hearts were pure, their minds were sure, that is why they could so bravely endure the thirst, the hunger and brutal bloodshed. They stood fast and never feared or fled. They bore the scorching heat, the unbearable thirst. Safety of humanity was their duty first. They bore merrily the hungry hunger and well controlled their pious anger. In number they were exactly seventy-two. They were pious and sincere. They were true. The rightful few versus the wrongful multitudes it was a battle not between men but attitudes. 
unshaken and unterrified by shameless violence to tyranny and evil they never paid allegiance truth prevailed to them the evil fiend and patience won the struggle in the end peace be upon those children and men who defended the messenger's message amen thank you very much for listening to this recitation i hope you will like it and if you really like it please like the video and subscribe to my channel which is an educational channel and if you have got to say anything please write in the comment section i would be very much keen to see your messages to your comments thank you very much and once again i request you to subscribe to my this channel have a nice time on the office